Rob Parker on the show now on a Friday. What a pleasure. Joy, hello. Odd couple, Chris Broussard, every Colin. night. Okay, uh, so you have never been a buyer of Dak Prescott. No. Uh, even his rookie year, which was very good, it all lined up perfectly for him. Had a great offensive line, had a rookie running back in Ezekiel Elliott, right, who tore up the league. So everything was wor- worked out, and then they just had to manage it, not make big throws, not do too many risky things. So everything kind of worked out, and then you saw him be exposed last year and now this year. I just, If you're the Dallas Cowboys, and I know Jerry said he's the quarterback of the future and they're going to sign him to some deal or whatever, they need to start looking for another quarterback. He's not going to get it done for them. Do you think he's a starter in the NFL? No, I think he's a backup quarterback, a very good backup that, that you could utilize, but I'm, I, I'm out on Dak Prescott. So like, like somebody told me you had what they call a reveal in our business. Yes. You know what? You were ripping, I think you were – Putting up some quarterbacks or whatever, and you, and you uh, we call it a blind about, resume about uh, Dak Prescott. So I have somebody here, blind comparison, and here's somebody who's even worse uh, over the last couple games than Dak Prescott, yeah. a guy who you love, Let me see. and uh, and that guy is. Tom Brady, <laughs> he's been horrible the last two weeks. Oh. Even that one touchdown, I always call him the loat, the luckiest of all time. He wasn't throwing the ball. Uh, to Josh Gordon, even Bill Belichick said, "Who are you throwing that to?" That was an overthrow that just happened to go to Josh Gordon. You think you still, but you acknowledge Brady's great. He's a great, he's a great quarterback, no doubt about it. All I'm saying is, in his whole career, he's had so many lucky things happen for him, and you know, I've I've chronicled them all the way back to Give the me very three. first, the very first Super Bowl, the Tuck Rule against the Raiders. Tom Brady fumbled the ball. Tom Brady. Should not have gotten the ball back, and they shouldn't have won that first Super Bowl. Give me a second one. Uh, Seattle at the one-and-a-half-yard line. Come on, Colin. You know that. First guess. You got to run that ball in. You got Beast Mode, the best court, the best running back in the league at that time. Got to run that ball in. You can't throw into a small space. So what's another one? I, don't, I could go with uh, Atlanta. They're up in that game 28-3. to <laughs> They choked, but the bad part was – uh, Julio Jones makes a great catch late in the fourth quarter. If you remember, it's first and 10 at the 22. Atlanta could have kneeled down three straight times, kick a field goal from the 22. They're up by 11. Brady can't beat you. Instead, what did they do? They went to pass. There was a holding, pushed them back. There was a sack, pushed them back out of field goal range. I'm not even a football coach. I could have coached that game in <laughs> that one. That doesn't sound like luck. That is luck for to give I'll Tom give, Brady the time. I'll give you the tuck rule. Tuck rule is a break. Can uh, I give you the other one? How about uh, John uh, there's Casey? There's nothing lucky about okay, the Panthers. What about, he kicked the ball out of bounds but, on the kickoff. And but, there was nothing lucky about Seattle. And, and luck, for the fa- record, luck favors the prepared. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is, uh, David Tyree caught a ball in his helmet. You don't think they lost the Super Bowl to the Giants on bad luck? Do you know what? It's funny because the pass that he just threw the, that uh, Josh mm-hmm. Gordon got reminded me is when. He missed Wes Welker in the other Super Bowl. No, Wes Welker him. dropped. No, he missed Wes Look Welker. At this. That's a great throw right there. It's a laser Look at that. beam. His numbers are worse than Dak Prescott the last two games. Tom Brady has one lucky touchdown in the last two weeks. We're starting to see some of the erosion of Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, good. You couldn't even get it out with a straight face, Rob. Okay, so uh, I got to shift to this. It's funny because you're the baseball guy on staff, and you you go you don't like Brady, and you're you're very critical of the NBA. So Joy and I got into this very interesting argument all week. The NBA is going to televise its All Star draft, and Joy's like, "This is offensive. The guys that don't get picked number one are going to look like schmucks." And I'm like, "I think it's going to be fantastic." Here's what Charles Barkley said this week on the Lakers podcast. What do you make of it? No, Charles is right. I mean, you're going to be upset. And get all worked up. But the only thing is, the NBA missed it. It's a a day late and a dollar short. And the only way you get any real drama and make it worthwhile is like the old days in the gym. If you line up all the players before the game and then have them pick, maybe there's a little drama, facial expressions. Do you you see what I'm saying? But for two guys, two captains to be in a room a week or two before it, 
It does, there's nothing there. I, I'm telling you, line the guys up right before the game and do it. Okay, John, get the music ready. You and I are going to do the game. I've done this twice this week. I love this game. We're going to pick the all-star teams. I'll give you first pick, go. Uh, the first pick, I'll take uh, Kevin Durant. I knew you'd You not. know I'm going to take Kevin Durant. <laughs> I'll take LeBron. Okay, I'll take uh, Westbrook. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take a guy that passes. I'll take Steph. I'll take uh, James Harden. Harden and Westbrook, same backcourt. Uh, I'm going to take Giannis. Very nice. Uh, Kyrie Irving. Jeez, how many guards do you need? I, I don't, I'm just taking that. There are no positions in the NBA anymore. Okay, I'm going to take uh, uh, Kawhi Leonard. Okay, like, by the way, your I'll, starting five is Katie, Westbrook, Harden, Kyrie Irving. You're not going to get a rebound <laughs> against me. Okay, who's your fifth starter? Uh, JaVale McGee. There's my big rebounder. <laughs> he's playing. He's balling for the it's Lakers. All, it's all stars. Oh, is it all stars? Well, he's not an all star. No, this is a, this is an all NBA all, draft. All, all star. <laughs> you got KD, Westbrook, Harden, Kyrie Irving. Do you have one? Who's your big? Anthony Davis. Yeah, big? Anthony Davis. Okay. Of course. What am I thinking? Anthony Davis. Okay, so I, go. I got LeBron, Steph, Giannis, Kawhi. And who who we got? Uh, not- you know who I? Clay Thompson. God, I'm going to beat you like a a drum. You didn't pick Steph Curry. I did too. Oh, LeBron, Steph, Steph Giannis, okay. Kawhi, and Clay Thompson. I got two, I got a great backcourt. You can't stop Giannis. I'll beat you. LeBron your, your James team. is old now. Have you noticed? So you don't like Brady or LeBron James? Have you watched him? Did you watch him in the fourth quarter of the last game that they that they won? What? Listen, you're I'm not just a, asking. You don't have any kids. I do. As a parent. I let my kids fail in front of me as they grow. I don't want to solve all their problems. LeBron, for the first time ever, since like Cleveland the first time, is playing with babies. He's, he's experimenting. He's letting them fail. He's trying to find if Brandon Ingram can play. But, yeah, but the only problem is, and that, that brings us to Lonzo Ball, then what is, the, what is the deal with Lonzo Ball? Now, I told you last year he's a bust. If they were to redo the draft again, he wouldn't be a top 10 pick. He's got his issue. He's too passive. There's other issues there. He's a little but, passive. But I'm, but I'm against what the Lakers are doing. He went from Magic giving him the, the keys to the Staples Center to them changing the locks on him. He can't <laughs> even. I mean, what? He sat 16 and a half minutes the other night in a close game. There's no reason that this kid shouldn't be playing. You got if he can't play with LeBron James now in November, where games don't matter. I mean, tech, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, if you can't play him now, when are you going to play him? I think they're making a mistake. Rondo's here, got a one-year contract. We know Rondo can play, right? We know r- playoff Rondo. The best Why po- isn't he playing? That's the best point you've ever made on this show. I got to go. Good seeing you. Have a nice weekend. Drive Thank safe. You. Always. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.